just sat there in the front, get ready to catch my ball. Good. Here we go. Ready? Thank you very much for the lovely audience, come on! Yes! Thank you very much. But like I said before, there's something for everybody this evening, okay? And if you don't mind, right, after doing all this, I'd like to carry on with some kids' programmes. And adults, please back me up. I've got to say this, right? When we were kids, our kids' programmes were much better than the ones around now, am I right, adults? Absolutely, because the ones that our kids are watching now are a bit weird, aren't they? Some of them are a little bit, um... For instance, Teletubbies. You're telling me that's not drug related? How the hell do you think they came up with... <laughs> Whoever wrote that must have been out of their face! And adults, right? Adults. He must have sat with your kids or grandkids and actually watched In the Night Garden. Have you watched that? That is beyond drugs! It is, isn't it? Pickle Pickle. <laughs> Oopsie Daisy. Fizzy Flipping Farty. <laughs> These programmes are supposed to educate our toddlers. And I'm sorry, some of the characters in that programme are even weird, aren't they? For instance, this is what they're teaching our kids. Have you seen that programme right when they've got porcupines on it? They're really weird. This is what they're teaching our kids. This is what they do. <laughs> Growing up, <laughs> but like I said, adults, our kids' programs were much better, weren't they? Well, this program last year celebrated its 40th anniversary. Give us an ooh! Oh yeah, I grew up watching this kids' program. It was brilliant. Why they've not brought it back, I do not know. This is my version of a great kids' program, mate. Right? Here we go then, adults you'll know it just by the tune. Clap your hands, here we go. Come on everybody, clap your hands. Oh yeah. Above the towns and streets and houses, Buckle flying high. Opens up his hairy legs and plops in Jeffrey's eye. Paint the whole world with a... Hello and welcome to Rainbow. I'll tell you what, if Jeffrey wasn't gay, it was very jolly. <laughs> Today on Rainbow, Sippy and George are going to do their favourite nursery rhymes. Aren't you, George? Oh, yes. That was quite right, Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, Sippy, Sippy, Sippy. Oh, Sippy. I think Bumble's going out. Well, put some more petrol on him then, George. <laughs> He's not very nice. Oh, it's now time for my nursery rhyme. <laughs> Little Tommy Tucker. <laughs> Adults don't make your own up. <laughs> Little Tommy Tucker ate a holy zapper, then took all his toy soldiers to bed. <laughs> he lost all his corporals and marshals, so he played with his privates <laughs> Right, teenagers? <laughs> uh, yes, but you see, George, you see, George, she was the best. Uh, Mary had a little watch, and she swallowed it one day. And now she's taken castor oil to pass the time away. <laughs> uh, but, 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 but no, the castor oil, it would not work. The watch, it would not pass. So if you want to know the time... <laughs> Just look up. Anyway, great program! <laughs> Bring it back, I say. Ladies and boys and girls, in my job, I have to watch a lot of TV, and I'm sure you'll agree with me as well. There's a lot of rubbish TV out there at the moment. I'm talking reality TV. Are we fed up with reality TV? I'm talking the rubbish ones. 
Like this one. Anybody here from Essex? Yeah. I feel your pain. Because <laughs> they don't represent the Essex people at all on The Only Way is Essex. Do you watch that? <laughs> you really watch that show? What? <laughs> no, it's not. Because it doesn't represent the Essex people at all like that, are Because it's girls walking around and heels far too high from walking around going... Oh, shut up! Oh, shut up, and the girls not going to wheel you with a shot, whatever the hell. And the blokes, right, because they're in front of the camera, what we done on that program, all of that. What? We're so flipping green. We're so flipping green. Well, I'm so flipping green. By watching that program, I've discovered what green really stands for. By the looks of them, it's short for remedial. Can't even tell the time. <laughs> Very disturbing. Well, of course, there are other great programs around as well at the moment as well. Uh, for instance, the talent shows. And the one I'm associating with, of course, Britain's Got Talent! Well, these two always get to the final. Hello, and welcome to Britain's Got Talent! Oh, this last series was great! Isn't that great, mate? Well, yes. It was amazing. But you know what? I can't even remember who was on. Please tell me. And. Well, mate, we had singers that sing everything, dancers that dance everything, and showgirls. I think we'll leave that there, shall we? And he's back on at the moment, folks. He's back on at the moment. Any fans out there? Oh, the X Factor! He's back on at the moment. And I'll tell you what, I'm a little bit fed of X Factor. They keep changing the judges, don't they? Yeah, a couple of years ago, they got rid of Talisa. I oh, know, she's had a rough time of it, but don't worry, Talisa's going to make a comeback. Yeah, she's going to do her own version of Deal or No Deal. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Also, well, right, he's not there this year, right? He's not there this year. He's been my favourite judge for the last couple of few years anyway. Singer, songwriter, member of the biggest boy bands of all time, and he doesn't pay his taxes. Let's have a cheer for Gary Barlow. Oh, a few screams for Gary Barlow. He's a six symbol now when he goes. Do you know the thing about Gary Potter, who I do admire, is he's a bit boring, isn't he? He never gets excited at all. For instance, I was thinking about that, right? Because he's now a sex symbol, I'd wonder what he'd be like in the bedroom with his missus. He'd be like that. I am so excited. <laughs> this is going to be the best night of your life. <laughs> and it only takes a minute, girl. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And then there's this one as well, right? There's this one, right? It's very popular. Any fans out there? Oh, The Voice! Five. That's going to go well then, yes. Well, I've got two favourites from The Voice. Firstly, Will I Am. Only because he's as mad as a box of flipping frogs. He will sit there going, Yeah, man. Yeah. There's that dope. Man, it's so dope. It's dope. Dope, 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 dope. Man, it's so dope. If you chill me outside, man, there's that dope. I reckon with all that dope, he wrote bloody Teletubbies. <laughs> and then, right, he's a Welsh and British institution. Let's have a cheer for Sir Tom Jones. Oh, that's not unusual. Now, I like Sir Tom, because every time they talk to him, it's to mention all the people he's sung with, doesn't he? He'll sit there going, Well, well, you see, they've sung with Shirley Bass. Who? They've sung with Robbie Williams. Ooh. I've sung with Frank Sinatra. Ooh. And I've even sung with the King Elvis. Ooh, 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 ooh. He was on the radio and I was in the show up and it's bloody marvellous. <laughs> We're talking of marvellous, it's marvellous to be here at Seashore! What a great resort, ladies and gentlemen, Resort Park, where I'm sitting like on the these days. It's great to be here, ladies and gentlemen. And it's great to see families here as well. All the boys and girls as well. Hello, boys and girls! Hello, oh. good to see ya. Uh, well, parents, it's great news. The kids are back at school! Oh, yes. How many times in the summer holidays did you have to watch Flipping Frozen? Oh, God. My daughter watches all the time. She's going, Daddy, wanna build a snowman? No, it's the summer, I want to build a sand castle. But the thing is, my right, parents, grandparents, we don't have to worry about entertaining our children anymore because technology entertains them. 
Like games consoles, for instance. Like PlayStation, Xbox. And I'm talking to games consoles. Do you remember, right, a few years ago, this games console came out that changed gaming completely, right? It was brilliant when it came out, and I bet you've all still got one gathering dust in your living room. When this came out, you could not get one for love nor money. Let's have a cheer for Nintendo Wii! Because adults, we could play on it, and we could look like nutters running around the living room! And it was acceptable, wasn't it? Running around looking like this! <laughs> I don't know about you blokes out there, but when I was on Nintendo Wii, right, I became competitive dad. Nothing was standing my way. I was like a man possessed. I was running around the living room like a flipping loony. Nothing was standing my way. I was like that. Sorry, Nan. <laughs> sorry, Nan, I was on the way. Nan, wake up, don't look into the light, Nan! I'm sorry, I was on the way! I was on the way! My Nan was like that. So was I, dear. <laughs> but these games, of course, with these days are brilliant. But people my age, 35, Plus that. <laughs> People my age, early 40s, when we were kids, do you remember we had the original games console? Let's have a cheer if you remember the Atari! <laughs> when games were cut. When tennis was flipping easy, do you remember? All it was in them days was... <laughs> do you remember the only exciting thing about that game was getting the dot trapped in the corner? Adults as well, who remembers the original Space Invaders? Boys and girls, you won't believe it's true, when we were kids, aliens just went... <laughs> that was never it! But it's not only game consoles that change in games as well. Cartoons have changed, and I don't care what age you are, everybody's got a favourite cartoon. And I like the classics, not these modern ones, I'm sorry boys and girls, you know, Pokemon, Digimon, what's going on on? <laughs> Fleabag, monkey face, don't get it. I'm talking classic cartoons like this one. That's a cheer for Scooby-Doo! <laughs> but I'm talking the original Scooby-Doo. Before Scrappy Crappy-Doo come along and ruin it. <laughs> He flipping did, didn't he? Giving it large, going... <laughs> Pebble power! <laughs> <laughs> How that can on, little kid? Because the original Scooby-Doo was class. Let's have a cheer for the mystery machine! Fred! And guys, don't deny it, Daphne. Did you notice that Daphne always ended up in a wardrobe with Fred looking for a ghost? <laughs> right. Then there was Velma, always lost her glasses. She always lost her glasses. She should have gone to Specsavers! <laughs> Our hero, Scooby-Doo, and his best friend, who is called... Shaggy. And of course, all Shaggy used to say was... <laughs> Sorry, wrong Shaggy. What Shaggy really said in the cartoon, of course, was Scooby Doo, where are you? Oh. Raggy! Raggy! Oh, 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 oh! Scooby Snack! <laughs> Scooby Dooby Doo! Let's have a cheap for Scooby Doo! Great cartoon, yes! Brilliant cartoon! Now, adults, who remember this one a bit better than the kids, alright? Here we go. Who remembers Dick Dastardly and Muttley? Catch the Pigeon was class! <laughs> <laughs> 